Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. And today we will be looking at a beer. We will be looking at this beer. Jerk Face 9000 from Parallel 49. This is a beer that was sent to me by the one and only Steve. So this is out of the Parallel 49 Central City uh, Advent Calendar Mixture. And yeah, something... I've noticed is that Parallel 49 and Central City do make a lot of interesting beers, and for this calendar, they've come up with a lot of interesting things. It's none of them have really been all that great to me. They're still a lot of fun to try, and I mean, that's all that really matters in this expedition. Not everything can be amazing. Uh, what's it say it is? I believe it says it's a Northwest Pale Ale. Um, awesome label. 5% alcohol. Rhino, Rhino Jr. I need this here opener from you. <sighs> Okie dokie. Let's pour her into the glass. That's okay. That's okay. All right. All righty then. To the beer. Oh, sorry about that. A little tiny bit of haze. Nice bright white head. A little like a uh, coppery color, almost. Mmm. Lots of tropical fruit on that nose. I'm getting mango, I'm getting orange, I'm getting uh, pineapple. Lots of pineapple at that. Lots of pineapple, lots of orange, lots of mango. Passion fruit. Just tropical fruits and nothing else. That's awesome. Well, Jerk Face 9000 right now smells pretty awesome. So it would be a Jerk Face move for it not to taste awesome. And I have a feeling that's where we're going to go. Probably the best smelling beer I've ever had from uh, Parallel 49, to be honest with you. And I've had some good smelling beers from them. I mean, like their tricycle uh, Rattler smelt pretty good. So let's try the beer. Cheers. Oh. That's rather simple. Um, I thought it would be a little more in-depth than that. It just smelt so... Intriguing. It's very fruity. With a slightly resiny, um, kind of like bitter fruit peel-esque uh, flavor on the back end. Lots of fruit though. Orange, orange is big time on there. Blood orange. And... Blood orange and passion fruit are the two big ones. And I'm getting a touch of mango as well. I smelt pineapple, lots and lots of pineapple. I don't taste it. Uh, and you're getting kind of like a, a grapefruit-esque sourness and, uh, and rind bitterness on it as well. So very beautiful tropical fruit flavors. And that bitterness does not stick around all that long. It's not like uh, some beers where it stays and uh, has a little party in your mouth. No, this one is pretty laid back and I love it I really do I love it uh, this is actually 
probably my favorite one-off I've had so far of the beers that were sent to me from Steve. So thank you very much for this, Steve. Parallel 39 Jerkface 9000 is the Jerkface move is that it's actually really good. It's and it's not. See, when you get an advent calendar, you, oh, at least I would assume I've never actually gotten an advent calendar. But seeing some of the things that go in them, um, when when I get one, I would expect you know, off-the-wall type of stuff, and this isn't off-the-wall at all, this is pretty much just a, a sessionable beer. It it kind of reminds me of, like, a West Coast version of the Ontario Pale Ales, but, um, it's so out of character for what I would expect out of a Advent calendar, this might be what a lot of them are, but uh, of the ones I've had, this is out of character as well, because it's just so good. The other ones have been passable at best, where this one is really, really nice. <coughs> Excuse me, even burps nice. <sighs> you know what? I'll give that an easy, and I mean easy, 8 out of 10. That's really nice. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.